This video is part of my gel press series where we took this composition book and turned it into a notebook that I'm going to use to collect my ideas for future videos, etc. So this has been printed on the gel press, adhered to the composition book, and I have utilized file folders to create the division or the dividers within the book and got carried away a little bit with some uh, do-it-yourself washi tape as well. So my name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. Please take a minute and subscribe to my channel, and that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional that content. That shut so down! Let's get started with this book. The first thing I did was took the book that we made in the previous video, and I'll link that up above, and I am measuring to cut these three file folders to the proper size. And I'm trying to determine exactly what that center should be. And I want to make sure that I am marking this so I am cutting it appropriately so the tabs appear in the position I would like them in within the book. So I'm just going to cut that down to size trim off both sides to make sure that that center file folder tab is going to appear in the center of my book. So just to recap, I measured the direct center of the book, marked that on the tab, and lined it up and marked the sides to cut off or the overlap to cut off. And I'm just going to do that with each tab. I've chosen three. So we have three tabs. You can see them laying here that will lay in appropriate position on the book. Using the first one as a template to cut the remaining two. I hope I'm making sense. But I think it's pretty self-explanatory when when you're getting ready to to plop these in the center of your book to kind of line those tabs up. So there, all three of them are now uh, almost finished with the cutting. This is the final one. And there, that completes the cutting. Let's just take a look at them inside the book, make sure that that size is appropriate, and those fit in there fit in there nicely so you can see how they will lay. Now I think that we need to round off the corners of those. Those are a little stark so I have my crocodile and I'm just going to round the corners on each of these file folders. And now to decorate the tab. And I could probably do this a lot easier, but I thought this is just another opportunity to play with the gel press a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the entire file folder. And I am just laying this down like I did in the previous session, utilizing that uh, gold first and had the piece of cardboard to add some texture. We'll lay down a thin layer of gray. And I'm just marking that with just some random things. I have a little thread spool here, a comb, a piece of that um, shelf liner. And we'll let that dry a bit. Maybe take some of this packaging and get kind of that stringy look on here. And now let's come back in with that dark or the Mars black. Once that's dry to the touch, and we'll pull that entire print up on the file folder. You know, make sure I push down well. We're going to have to do this on both sides because what we really want here is the tab printed because I am going to glue the paper to each side of this, but I want a nice imprint on the tab, and that just gives us a chance to kind of play with a little bit of mark making on the gel press. So let's do that once again. We'll take the gold, lay that down. We'll use some bubble wrap to make a few little marks. My onion bag. We'll do that as well. Come back in with the gray. Little shelf liner. 
onion bag again, credit card or hotel key card to put some lines in there or some marks. Let that dry to the touch. Back with the Mars Black thin coat. Let's use that packaging. I, li I like the way this puts just a random stringy look. And let's see what that does. There you go. I think that looks pretty nice. So we have those in process. We'll just pull up the, the rest of the paint off of this and set this gel press aside for a bit. And we will print each of the file folders like this. Go around the outside edge just to coat that um, edge so that's black instead of the manila color when we glue the paper down to it. And let's see how they fit into the book. I'm using uh, Fabri-Tec glue here. You could use glitter glue, Elmer's glue, any, any glue will work. I'm going to glue that paper down to it and then lay the glue down on the file folder and just glue the other side. And there we have that tab nicely secured inside our little composition book. And I'm just dividing this into thirds by eye. I'm not counting. I'm not getting real strategic here. And I'm trimming off any excess file folder that comes off the page. So see how that fits in and, and lays right inside? And let's do that with the other two. And we will have that completed. This seemed a little black to me, so I'm just squirting some gold down on my worksheet here and using that packaging, that stuffing, if you will, and just putting some gold on it. Well, now I've gone off the rails and I've decided that wouldn't it be kind of cool if I had some washi tape that matched everything that I could lay down inside? So I have this masking tape. I'm going to run that through the gold. I'm going to run it a couple of pieces through. And now I've decided that, well, if I'm going to do it, I might as well do a bunch of it. So I'm pulling out some freezer paper. I'm going to attach my masking tape to the freezer paper. And we're going to make a little bit of washi tape for the inside of this book. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's just go with that. It's kind of this uh, freezer paper is, you know, it doesn't stick real well to to the freezer paper because it's a real um, glossy coated paper. So I've taken my brayer and randomly rolled some gold across this washi. I'm gonna come back in with a little gray and hit it the washi tape with the gray ink with the brayer just to add a little color. Now the black ink pad and I'm just going to randomly put this script down and I'm going to grab some boho stamps and we'll randomly hit each piece of this masking tape. I'm just randomly hitting it with the boho and that will pretty much complete that washi. And then we'll take it and peel it off of this uh, freezer paper and randomly put it down inside the book that we just created. So this was, a, you know, just a off the cuff, quick, quick little thing. Let me get this last one glued in. And we'll glue the third. And there, we have those all in the book. Let me just flip that one around. I glued it in backwards, so that was a quick fix. Thank goodness it didn't dry. And now let's just peel off some of this washi tape, and we're just going to randomly stick that inside the book in different places. I'm not going to get real scientific with this. I'm just sticking it down throughout the book just for a little bit 
of interest. Trim the edges, make sure that it doesn't bleed over the outside edge and stick to something. And I think that is enough of the washi tape inside this book. And we will get this adhered down where, where it needs a little extra help with a little extra glue and, and um, just little spots of interest, if you will. Now I also cut out these black circles and I am just folding them in half and gluing them on edges of pages. Again, just doing that randomly throughout the book, kind of keeping them in a, a sequence where they go top to bottom. And I think that also adds just a, a little bit of interest to the book when, from the sides, gives a little bit of support to the paper and just adds a little noise. So that's how that looks. Adhered, you can kind of see it here when I hold it up. You have the washi tape, you have uh, this is a little piece that I cut the circles out of. I think I'll go ahead and just glue that down. And that's going to complete this little booklet. So we've taken the composition book, we've put three tabs in it, we've decorated some of the inside pages with a little bit of washi tape. We also put these little black circles on here that just gives the, the pages a little tabbing, if you will. And that is a finished product, in my opinion. So I'm going to call that a wrap. And let's just take a look once again at what we created here. Again, the video for the original outside cover is linked um, on in the first screen. I'll link it um, in the description below as well. This is our composition book turned into a three-tabbed notebook with a pin holder and a minor amount of decoration on the inside so I can use it for journaling or capturing my ideas. I hope you enjoyed this process. Again, my name is Peg with Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment to subscribe. The playlist for other gel press videos is linked here as well. So once again, I appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate the comments that you give me, and I will say bye for now.